In this video, we'll look at question 51 from the 2017 exam. So in this question, we have a function, y equals sine of x. This is subject to two transformations. So first, we stretch it by a factor one half parallel to the x-axis, and then we translate the whole graph by pi by four uh, to the negative direction. We're supposed to say what the equation of the final graph will be after both these transformations are applied. So first we only have y equals sine of x. Um, here is the graph of sine of x. Uh, it crosses the x-axis at zero, pi, n pi, and uh, the value one is um, pi by two. And here we can see what happens when we scale uh, the sine function by a factor of one half in the x direction. Stretching by a factor less than one is basically squeezing. And because it now goes up and down twice as fast as it did before, its equation is y equals sine of 2x. So the way I like to think about this, uh, which helps me as a physicist, is to treat this number in front of x as a kind of frequency. The frequency with which um, the graph wiggles, with which it goes up and down. So when I squeezed um, my graph, then it goes up and down faster, the frequency has increased, and that's why um, my equation now is y equals sine of 2x, rather than 1 half x, which might have been a common mistake in this question. And in the second step, we want to uh, take our old graph and move it from how it was by pi by 4, like this. So let's now try and figure out, mathematically speaking, what is the transformation that we did in this step between graph 2 and graph 3. We went from x to x plus pi by 4. And an easy way to see that is to look at this, our new 0 is here, and it gives us 1 on the graph. It corresponds to a y value of 1. So our new coordinates, that's 0 plus pi by 4, and that, that's, that's the point to which it corresponds in the old coordinate. And is that right? Do we, for the old pi by 4, do get a value of y equals 1? Yes, for pi by 4, we get 1. And the same happens to every point. It's always you know, something worth remembering that when you move by a certain amount to the negative direction, you transform from x to x plus that. And if you move to the right-hand side, you get x minus uh, the amount by which you move. It's exactly the other way around that maybe you would assume. And so finally, the equation of our last graph is y equals sine of 2, and instead of x, we have x plus pi by 4, and that can be simplified to this form, which in the exam was option h.